Alright guys, hey, this is Von Lagaya. Welcome to Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, last episode we took down Nemesis again. Whoops, I didn't want to go to the map. So, uh, this time before we go get the fuse that I was talking about, we're going to go somewhere else. We're going to take a little detour. We're going to go back down this way. Now, We've been doing so pretty good for the files so far. Um, we're gonna go back and see if that man from earlier <coughs> has smartened up at all. Oh great, I'll be poured out of there. Not good. I'm gonna have to kill those guys. Oh, wrong shield! No! Oh my god, you're gonna get bit in the back, man. Oh, okay, good. Bastard. You know what? Screw you too. I usually don't waste ammo like that, but I don't care right now. I'm gonna come down this way. Now, I'm not sure what's here. <coughs> We're gonna unlock this door. Actually, I could have used the crank down there, the uh crank handle, so I'm going to do that as well, but, um, come up this way, because it's easier. It's quicker to just go up this path, since if we go around that way, there's going to be probably a nice chunk of enemies in the way. Actually, let's go that way. I don't feel like killing all the zombies that are going to be in this hallway, and the quarters are kind of small. If we go this way, we shouldn't have too much problem, except maybe... Oh wait, yeah, there's a bunch of zombies there. Let's see if we can take them out. Well, I have no question of being able to take them out. It's just, I was hoping for a crit. Oh, we got one, but it was eight miles away, it seems. On her, or him. <laughs> Where'd the female zombies go that I saw running off? Was that a zombie at all? Actually, it probably wasn't. Ah. I guess she wasn't a zombie at all. Where to go in here? Oh, damn. She's dead. <laughs> Take that, you bastard. She's dead. How dare you kill her. Sucks. She almost made it, too. Oh well. Wait, what? That doesn't sound good. That sounds like zombies eating something. Oh, they got him. Damn. Sucks. Poor guy. Oh well, we're gonna go in here. What's inside this truck, anyway? Hey look! It's another memo! You know, I totally didn't know that was there. Dially? <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, I totally didn't know this was here, guys. I totally wasn't just acting like I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> anyway, we have Dario's memo. So, let's read. I can't help but wonder if anyone will read these words, but I'm writing them to help me maintain my sanity, if nothing else. After I've become a meal for those undead monsters, will the GIs responsible for sealing off the town laugh upon, upon discovering my corpse? So this is how it's supposed to end. I don't want to die, I'm just not ready. My wife, daughter, mother, my entire family have been killed. But none of that matters anymore. Right now, my life is the only important thing. That's all that matters. I would never have pictured my my end to be like this. I had so much left to do. Rather than becoming a salesman, I should have tried my hand at being a novelist. That's what I've always wanted, but my mother would only tell me, you have a long way to go. Why did I ever listen to her? But this looks like the end for the great Dario Rosso. Novelist extraordinaire, cut down before his prime. So his name was Dario Rosso, huh? <coughs> and we got some gunpowders as well. 
I'm not gonna mix these. I'm just gonna use them by themselves later on. Well, back when we get the other stuff. But uh, for now, I'm gonna end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. This has been Von Lagaya. See you next time.